Hi and welcome to this week's episode of The Wedding Band Show. On today's show, I talk with Ave from the band Electric Blue and we go over a few tips you can use if you have to book your band online and you can't get to see them live in action. Let's get into the show. Hi Ave, how are you? Welcome back to the show. Hey there, I'm Nice to see you again. Are you still bored at home, yeah? Uh, well, I'm never bored here, but... Yeah, <laughs> I want to go gigging. Can we go gigging? Yeah, uh, the gigs Get will be back soon. The gigs will be back <laughs> soon. Um, but that's why I wanted you on today, just for our, um, because none of us can play live. Um, when couples are booking their bands now for you know twenty two, twenty three, their only option is to book a band online. Um, so. I wanted to go through how they do that and then get your advice on, um, I suppose, the first thing, where should they start to look? If you were a couple getting married now, would you, you know, type wedding bands into Google? Would you go to Facebook groups? What do you think? I think what I probably do is is go to Google and uh, search wedding bands. Um, In my opinion, where people should go i mean there's a couple of places you can go for 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 your wedding band um but if you're really interested in finding some good wedding bands i think the wedding band association um which we're both members of um is a great place to start because if say you and i aren't available they all work together to find the couple the perfect band would be a great one yeah i mean but google yeah definitely google because uh i mean facebook's flittered with bands and and wedding bands i don't mean that with any disrespect but there are wedding bands (laughs) <laughs> yeah, well, I kind of do, but uh, there's wedding bands um, that 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 know their business, and there's you know, and mm-hmm. I think the wedding bands in the wedding band association know what they're doing, so yeah. I think that's a good place to start. Um, you know, a lot of other places like you know, there's there's an awful lot of um, advertising channels on there. So as soon as you put wedding bands into Google, you're gonna find a ream of people. However, I you know, it's gonna give you everyone. It's not gonna give you what you want. It's gonna give you confusion as well, yeah. I think. So going going to a specific agency, the good and a bad thing, but I genuinely the WBA is done nothing but good things for us. So uh yeah. and they've done nothing but help their couples and I think they have a deposit they do they have a deposit transfer scheme at the second and it's just a good option for couples because if they don't have their wedding band of choice they can they can have another band that would be well aware of their situation, understand their plans, because the bands will be in communication with each other, like yourself and I, what we do bookings yeah, or yeah. with Sandy or whatever, whoever is doing it. But we all work together. Yeah, that's the only the thing, thing I think it's the best idea. The only thing I'd kind of have against the Facebook groups is I just notice. Um, I don't usually answer, but you, you know, you see the somebody say, you know, looking for a band, you know, next August the fourth or whatever. And like within mm. 30 minutes of like 80 or 90 replies, um, that'd have to do your head in if you were the person putting up the comments. Yeah, you've hit a bit of a nerve now. I have a social media background um, and an advertising background beside Electric Blue. And mm. I find groups very frustrating. Um, I'm going to be politically correct about this and say that they are a dime a dozen and I hate them. Mm. And uh, it's... Tell um, us how you really feel, Dave. <laughs> I hate them because it's, it's not a look it's not a the hate is a very strong word I just think that it dilutes our business yeah. and I think that it cheapens acts that are not cheap and it gives people the wrong idea of what to expect when you're paying for a wedding band I mean you're not paying for just somebody to sing at your at your wedding day you're paying for someone to run the band run the gear run the team book rehearsals pay for rehearsals pay for gear tax deduct yourself you know yeah it's it's getting a bit frustrating because you know i hate people that will come out and say you shouldn't pay more than a grand for a band yeah you get a lot of that in those groups yeah you do you and you also get a lot of people standing up as well because you know if you if you can't afford a band for more than a grand fair enough yeah right that's fair enough but my opinion is that if you pay a thousand euro you will get a thousand euros worth of um, music mm. and it, it won't be, I don't, I, I, look, I just can't see it being an operation that would be sustained. First of all, if that's the charges they're making. Yeah. And second of all, it, it, it seems to be a problem in our market that creeps in every now and again. So, you know, it, yeah, I feel it cheapens uh, the acts and I don't use them very often. I'm a member of all of them because um, I, I have used groups before. Yeah. I have tried to monitor them and see if they actually work for our business, but they don't. They're, yeah. they're, so we're they're saying, not really great. We're saying if you're if you're starting to get married, you're looking for a band online, um, Google or maybe the Wedding Band Association website, somewhere like that. Yeah. Um, kind That's of. That's where yeah, I feel. I think the Wedding Band Association is a great place to start because 
there's 80 odd brands there including yourself and myself yeah. and they're, they're just there's invaluable information on the site there's 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 the musicians, the, mu- the level of musicianship on there is is fantastic. Yeah. You know this, I know this. Um, and if one of us can't do it, we'll, we'll find someone that can do it for you. Yeah. We work together, mm. and that's the thing. The network works together. Yeah. It's probably one of the very few ones that works together also. So, I, you know, that's where I stack my cards behind for the moment. You know, yeah. um, it's made it a lot easier for us actually as well. Um, we've had great communication during this whole time, so. You know, the couples have been looked after as much as they possibly can be. And, uh, you know, the deposit thing made that made that an awful lot easier for people to move their, their dates and mm. not have to suffer the loss of their deposits instead of, you know, yeah. whatever it was. But, um, yeah, I mean, look, Google, WBA, definitely. Wedding okay. Band Association, sorry. Just yeah. finish. Okay. <laughs> uh, second thing then, I suppose, um, what should they be looking out for when they find they find the listing on, you know, the WB or Google or whatever and they like yeah. to look at these lads? Um, I kind of always say live videos, but like what about reviews or set list? What do you think are the important things yeah. to look for? I mean, I think the best idea for me personally, what I find is is the best idea is to get them to a showcase. I know that's not possible right now. Mm. Because if we get them to a showcase, I'm sorry, any live performance that we do is better than the recordings that we have there. Yeah, they always uh, have. I don't particularly like recordings because I think they're the pain in the ass. Like you have to have the promo video when you're in any bands, which is. But the problem with them is that when you go to see the live sound, it is completely different. Mm. It's a room. It's 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 the levels of the sound, and, and we're very loud, so I mean, but we are quite big, mm. so it can't give you the same experience, you know, online as such. It can give you a snippet of what it would be like, but I mean, I, I can guarantee you that the lads are better than their videos, yeah. right? Um, most fans will be better than the videos because we're not technical engineers either. You know what I mean? We're not all tech heads that know what to be doing and, you know, that that's an SMB7 or whatever, you know. Yeah. We only learned these things in the last few days, <laughs> but this is the thing. You're you're kind of, you're kind of forced now Um to deal with what's online and to just hope for the best. And what about, and, what about uh, when it comes to look, reviews then? Reviews are really important. I mm. think reviews are really important. I don't like to film my couples because um, I, I become quite friendly with them. So it, it, it's like they're my friends nearly. They, they, they give reviews, but they give reviews anyway because they're really nice people. But yeah. we get really nice reviews and I share a few of them and I don't share them all. Some of them I kind of like to keep because there's that one moment where you can kind of go, yeah, I did a really good job there. And I just want to keep that to, to for us. We use our reviews online and um, they're really important, but I genuinely believe word of mouth is an awful lot more important. What about awards? You know, a lot of, you know, there's awards plastered. Oh, all over the place. you nasty boy. <laughs> you nasty, nasty child. Uh, how do you uh, me? Well, we were up for an award this year. <laughs> <laughs> how much did that cost? I'm only joking. Um, I'm not telling you because, yeah, we did a we did a huge huge media bill last year. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you how much money I spent because it probably shoot me in the head for being an idiot. But I did spend quite a lot of money, and we we had we bought a new van, we we upgraded our gear, and um, we did a new promo. I left my job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we spent a lot of money on the build and we had, I think we had 140 bookings by February 2nd because that's where I kind of, yeah. you know, ease off. January, once the lads take three, three weeks off in January, 2nd of February was the day back in. Did it the work, gave them all their business and of course that didn't happen. Um, but on the plus side, we joined One Five Day and we did weddings online. Yeah, I wouldn't have been a fan of weddings online um, to be honest with you, which my poor account, suffering account manager, Rory, would understand because he has to deal with um, Harley every second day. That's another name the lads have for me. <laughs> yeah. So this is the thing, you know, I, I, I'd ring him every second. I'm like, oh, this is working. This is working. This is working. But you know what? It is. It Look, it is what it is. It's an online profile. Yeah. So I don't... Uh, I, I think it's very important right now to be online because look, we're, we're, we've no other choice but to be online. Yeah. So I did go with that option and we upgraded our, our 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 campaigns and put an SEO in place when she got time. And then we we, we upped our campaigns. Uh, we are up for a wedding band of the year with Wednesday Vine. And it's on my birthday. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, you have to. So win you're not it, allowed to be mean. And I'm a girl, so you have to be nice to me, Brian. Look, listen, I, I, I do, I do take awards with a pinch of salt. However, what it has done for us is, um, it, it's upped our profile. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. It's given us a good. Well, it's definitely good push. for the bands to have awards, but I'm just saying, for a couple yes. looking for a band, it's not, you know, it's not really, really, not really. I would look what I would <clears> look <throat> for. I mean. When man wins an award, yeah, grand. I mean, but you, you really should go see the band anyway. I yeah. mean, I, I didn't, I did not go see my own wedding band. I, yeah. I went to see them three times actually because mm. I'm a musician. <laughs> but anyway, look, it, that that's a harder job for anybody to do. And when your yeah. mates are on the stage going, "Will you stop looking at me?" You know, I can get it. But at the same time, uh, I remember Ali from Panic Animal once said to me, uh, "Thanks for coming to the gig. Now will you f off?" <laughs> <laughs> as in don't be coming our gigs and scouting it's like but um you know it was a great gig and yeah. uh you know it, it it's it's important to go and see them it's it's not impossible though right now so mm. you know the best idea talk to the the person that runs the band find out what the band actually does and then decide you know whether or not that's the band for you um i mean if you want high energy you go for the likes of electric blue or whatever else but if you want something a little bit more response you know you go for something else yeah. and then if you want brian you ring brian mcdermott yeah simple but i think he's booked up for the next three years so yeah no um, with a few thursdays and 24 left have you um, yeah, yeah 24. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next then <laughs> you know we all lie about our diary clans but we oh, don't no, lie that much no nobody's lying this year now there's no point Google WBA they found the band they like the look of them what's the best way to get in contact then with you these days like I kind of like Zoom calls but like would you say email message WhatsApp well I like Zoom calls myself well I, I don't like Zoom calls however I I think they're the best idea because they can see your face they can yeah. they can see you can you can see them you can see when they, rather than being on a phone call where you're not quite sure of what they're asking you for, when you can see someone's face, it's an awful lot different. But this is a, look, sure, look, I'd meet couple regular basis. Mm. And, you know, we'd sit down, we'd talk about what the band would do and they'd go to a showcase then. And then they yeah. would, you know, they, they, they would decide whether they wanted the band. Now, it didn't always happen, but communication is extremely important. And if you can, if you can give that to them in Zoom call, fantastic. But, WhatsApp has been amazing for me. Yeah. WhatsApp, WhatsApp has just cool. yeah. taken the business out. Yeah. Well, WhatsApp business has worked. I'm not a fan of Facebook and Zuckerberg owns the bloody lot of the but you I, know, WhatsApp and, I'm and finding, Insta as well. I don't know but, about you, but I'm finding lately that um, no matter what you do, Facebook, the page messenger is all over the place. It's a mess, you know, and I'm not getting <gasps> notifications all the time. My God. And then there are notifications there and you go in and there's yeah. nothing and you know, uh, with WhatsApp, it's just nothing there. Yeah. Actually, I've noticed that a lot. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I run a couple of, I, I run about a dozen Facebook pages because I, I do media as well. But it, it is absolutely ridiculously bad. Yeah. Um, I tried to run an ad there on Sunday for, for the, uh, for a client of mine, and he, he rang me and he said, "What's going on?" Because it physically took me an hour to yeah. get the ad. But on. there's about three different and places changed... you can do it now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know ad manager, page manager, name and name and name and name. Yeah, exactly. And then when you go onto your suite. phone, yeah. like you said, that message thing, I'm a I'm a I'm an admin nightmare. Don't mm. touch my email, don't touch yeah. my admin. I have to do it myself. Sean has felt my wrath a few times on that one. And it's kind of like this. You go into Facebook and you see two messages sitting at the top of the page, you know that the couples are contacting you, however, you can't answer them. Yeah. It just it can't it does not compute. We mm. did, did a bit of an issue with Facebook a couple of weeks ago, and, and like a woman got really cross with me because she just couldn't get through. Yeah, simple. And look, I apologized, and everything was fine. But yeah, Facebook Facebook changes the rules too much, and yeah. not only is it changing the rules, I think they're trying to adjust their business networks to work for businesses. However, I find that absolutely impossible, and I don't think it'll happen much farther than 22 now to be honest yeah i definitely I think businesses think, will move not think, so sure what that will mean for us but mm, i think whatsapp is you know i think uh, i've noticed a lot of bands have um i put the little whatsapp button on my website last year um a lot of bands have that now you know yeah. just you, you can click on it because most yeah, people are on the true. phone anyway yeah um i think that's definitely the best way if you can well, and then that's it. maybe arrange a zoom call if the band are Absolutely. available yeah um and 
that's it exactly I mean yeah no I was just going to say then okay you get through to them you're on the call uh, what are the important things to ask availability obviously first oh what's your date yeah yeah uh, what's your location price um, I don't really ask how many guests they're having they usually tell me mm. um, and if I know the hotel I'll, I'll say I know the hotel if I don't know the hotel I'll say we haven't gigged there because not a good idea to say that you've gigged there when you haven't. <laughs> oh God, we're in the wrong place. Um, you know, but um, you know, yeah, usually I would talk about that and then I suppose how many members your, are in the band? What's your what's your needs? Yeah, and if the band yeah, have the five. same members. Well they would every usually night. know at that stage because they've Googled us. Yeah. How many members? Well, yeah, this is it. Members, I mean yeah. we've had we've had one or two lineup changes in our in our in our time, mm. um, Brian. Do you know what I mean? It happens. We yeah. are human well, you're beings. Always, yeah, we you're always, always going to have you're always going to have um, changes, but I think you know, just you don't want a band that's going to have different members every night. You know that kind of absolutely not. I mean, look, I can I can tell you, I've worked in bands like that. Uh, mm. I worked in bands like that for a long time before I had Electric Blue, and uh, it's a it's. Can I just say, for even a vocalist, it's not it's impossible because you're going into a, a bunch of lads that I've never met. They may be good jammers because a lot of them are, mm. but your jam factory and this, 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 like you buy Electric Blue or you buy Brian McDermott, you're getting a fine tuned act. Mm. I mean, you can't have five individuals that have just walked onto a stage and shook hands because that's not a band. Mm. They're five musicians. A band is somebody that works specifically together and, you know, rehearses together. And even if there are lineup changes, you know, the majority of the lineup says like Sean and I have been the only um, Sean Nev and I would have been the only players in this band until very recently that would have been the you know constant. But yeah. you know it happens. Mm. You just got to get on with things and, and find players that are the same as the players that you just you replaced. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, we've been very lucky. We've replaced with just the same. So mm. you know. Um, so yeah. So basically, what you're looking for is is just the same core band. You know, all the time. Same core. And you'd be grand. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing is just when to book. So. I think as soon as you can, really, is what I'd be saying. Um, yeah. And I'd even say, Agreed. look, I know times are weird at the minute. Even if you have a problem, I say this to people, if you have a problem with the deposit or whatever, just talk to your band. Because the main thing yeah. for us is just to lock it in, you know. So once once well, you know exactly someone's it. interested, yeah. Well, lock the gig in anyway, if you've got the date available. Um, the only thing I've, you know, the, the only thing I would suggest to couples is that, like, I mean, not necessarily 18 months out. I mean, we are 18 to 24 months out between a lot of us now at this point because yeah. we've had to move everything from 2020 to 2021. So more than ever now, it matters. Mm. More than ever now, it matters because, I mean, I've turned 84 gigs away for next year because mm. I can't physically do them. It's look, it, it, it's a very mixed game right now. And more than ever, it's, it's, it's difficult, but you're going to have to do it as quick as you can because... I don't mean to say that there won't be any good bands because there's probably a dozen new bands forming as we're speaking yeah. and no, new guys coming out onto the market that will be of some use, great musicians, please God, that will come out and say, you know, we're the new wedding band, we're the new, you know, this, that and the other. That's grand. Ireland's but... premier wedding band, isn't that it? <laughs> Ireland's newest premier wedding band. Can I? <laughs> I had to go, mm, don't say the premier word. <laughs> So yeah, but look, uh, it's 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 more than important right now because, as I said, your bands are not going to have the date. They're just not going to have the dates. Yeah, like you know what I mean. Um, any of the bands that are any any way certainly won't. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's it. So yeah, if you find a band you want, um, book them as soon as you can. Book them as soon as you want. Um, yeah. So if thanks for coming on the show, uh, how can people You're find out about Electric Blue? Give your yeah. Electric Blue is www.electricblue.ie and we are launching a new website on the 14th of March which is Mammy's Day cool. Mother's Day so Mammy Blue says thank you and you're on Instagram <laughs> and Facebook and all over the place we are um, we are Electric Blue I or L across all platforms cool well thanks for coming on the show stay safe and uh, I will we'll talk to you soon you we'll see you at a live gig soon you will see me at a live gig oh, soon, will. and I miss you, buddy. We'll see you at the conference. Talk to you later. Bye. Cheers. <laughs> Bye.